What's going on guys? Welcome back to Icono Classic. Today I'm going to be working on my 1973 Datsun 240Z. I've done a conversion from the 73 flat top carburetors to the 72 round, round top carburetors. And today I'm going to be showing you how to convert the coolant lines to the 72 configuration. There's some different piping. Let's get right into it. Okay, <clears throat> so here this black hose um, goes to I think the water pump over up in here but um so that goes into this y piece all right so that goes into there this up here goes into the car into the heater core area to bring um hot water back and then this piece back here <clears throat> goes to a, another hose that i don't have that goes into a another hard pipe this up here that goes around the back of the engine like such and then plugs in here to with to another hose into the carburetor so that brings warm water to the carburetor so as you can see if i hold these up these are different diameters that doesn't that doesn't fit this like fits inside it and these need to meet up so what i'm pretty sure is um and i haven't done much research much research 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 so I don't know for sure, but I believe that, you know, from the factory it came with a hose, like a custom hose that went from whatever this is in three quarter inch to a quarter inch. I don't know. I'm just estimating, um, <clears throat> which is probably unavailable and, you know, very specialty. So I'm, I'm working on figuring out how to work around that. Um, so I'm going to head out to the store now and see what I can find for a hose. Be right back. All right, I ran out to the store, um, bought, found the solution. The guy just like pulled it off the shelf. So here's a adapter from like five eighths to half inch. It's obviously metric because it's a Datsun, European, Japanese, whatever, but uh, it'll work. And we're gonna get this done, it's exciting. Great, I got these two other pipes, hoses that I need. Um, so this is going from the water pump to the Y pipe. Then from the Y pipe it goes into here to the adapter. Adapter goes into here, half inch hose from here into here and then across the engine. Well, really this way, it just goes like this. Um, across the back of the engine and then some more of this gonna go from here into the carburetor. But uh, yeah, all right, now I'm gonna start piecing this stuff together. All right, so I took, uh, we took this, uh, my dad and I grinded it, grinded it, gr ground it down, the rust off, cleaned it up a bunch, looking good. Uh, look at that brazing job they did there, that's cool. Metal boogers, I like it. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna cover it up with some paint to protect it from the elements. So I'm hanging this here, I'd rather have like a metal wire, but that's what I got. So that's what I'm gonna use. All right, how am I doing this? I got this uh, thing here called Rusty Metal Primer, and it's exactly what you think it is. It's Rusty Metal Primer. So I'm gonna use the Rusty Metal Primer, and um, I'm gonna do this, do this thing. All right, here I have, next day, I have um, the, the, uh, the Y pipe. It's primed, and now I'm ready to paint it. Well, not quite ready to paint it. I'm gonna sand it up, scuff it up a bit so that the paint has something to stick to and not just smooth paint. There will be, you know, something, uh, a purchase for the paint, a uh, tooth, we call it, so that it won't just be sticking to the primer. It'll actually have like little grooves and stuff to uh, sink into and take hold. Now, of course, you don't wanna like sand off the primer because that defeats the purpose of priming it. But you get the idea. You just wanna you know, a little scuff it up. And uh, gonna paint it. All right. Welcome to my paint booth, uh, Bob Ross out in nature. I'm using a uh, engine paint engine so it's, you know, withstands high heat. So that'll be good. It's just black because that's all I need. Nothing fancy. And let's hit it. Let that sit a while. I 
Okay, here uh, I got it painted. I'm gonna let this cure overnight. I set up. I missed a spot. Maybe we'll hit that. Um, and I'll be back at it again for the next step. All right, I got all my pieces, well, my hose clamps. Um, I'm gonna put this together. Here together. I'm gonna cut here and here. I'm gonna measure so I make it as short as possible because I'm adding right from the from the Y pipe into this, into here, into here, into here is adding, you know, adding some length that hadn't been there before. So I'm gonna try to cut it off as short as possible here and here to fit into here and then here. And uh, all right. This is where the metal piece ends. So I can put this, you know, maybe right there. So I'll cut it about there. And this is where this side ends. So this one I'm gonna put, there's the brass piece ends, give it some space. So I'll cut it right there. Welcome back to the Iconoclasic Cooking Show. I got water boiled here. I'm gonna put it in a pot. The reason I am doing this is because I am, <clears throat> this hose is a little bit, you know, gonna be a tight fit into here. So I'm gonna heat it up, get it kinda hot. And from there, slip it over this and hopefully get a hose clamp on it. <clears throat> Got this all hooked up now, cut, fitted, clamped down tight. Here I have the piece that goes from the Y pipe to the front of the engine. Got it lined up with my new piece. I'm gonna cut it right about there. I have the whole setup sitting in place now. It's not hooked up yet, but there's the front. It's gonna go in there. In fact, I'm gonna do that now. Push that in, comes back to here, lines up almost perfectly to the mounting point. I'm gonna shove this in a little bit more. It goes to my adapter focus adapter around the back now this piece is one of the pieces that's different as i mentioned uh this is a narrower piece the 1973 piece is much more is bigger and much more involved and other i don't know, vacuum stuff there's a whole bunch of nonsense on it this is supposed to hook up there on this now of course as you can see if i did it right that would line up right in front of this piece. So there's no room basically. So it works out. It's a little farther back. It'll have some room, you know, to put a hose there because I added some material back here. And uh, I'm gonna figure out a way to, you know, mount it so it doesn't like whack around back here. But um, that's basically it. All right. All right, I'm mounting this. Gotta remove the uh, dipstick actually to get on that pretty much. Kind of annoying, but it's done. Okay, I measured the distance between the crossover pipe behind the engine to the uh, intake manifold carburetor area to be about a tefach, about a tefach sochik, about a fist. So, right about there. There's the piece, crossover piece into the uh, intake jacket sleeve i don't know what to call it yeah that's that that that's awesome if it's great here is where so here's where it goes in um the the coolant the warm water goes in to the uh intake manifold and it it goes into these like channels that are shared with the carburetor underneath the carburetor and then back into here and then across this tube here goes to these um and then uh, it's gonna need i'm gonna need to hook up something over here <clears throat> and that is uh so it basically keeps once it gets up to temperature um it'll keep the temperature of the carburetors themselves constant uh, and it'll prevent the the uh, the um 
the stream, the mist of, not really mist, but yeah, the mist of gasoline. That is the mixture of air and gasoline that's sucked into the intakes, into the engine. It'll keep that at a constant temperature and it'll keep it from freezing in uh, super cold conditions. And that is how you do a 73 to 72 round top carburetor water uh, coolant line conversion. Yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'm out.